Good afternoon, everyone. How the fuck are you? I'm going to try to make this quick. Um, I, I don't know how that's going to work out. You know how that goes sometimes. But uh, long story short, yesterday afternoon, I, I stumbled upon this video that I'll post right over here, done by a YouTuber who goes by the name Pastor George C. Now, I don't know what the basic idea of the video was, because I lost interest a, a couple minutes into it when Pastor George referred to, I want to say it was Tommy from the Bronx or Brett Keen 1, as being, quote-unquote, the biggest God-hater on YouTube, or one of the biggest God-hater, haters, sorry, on YouTube. Now, that agitated the fuck out of me, and I'll tell you why. Number one, I know that Pastor George C. is not a fucking idiot, all right? I said it. He's not an idiot. I also know that he's not illiterate. Uh, I also know that uh, a lot of fundamentalist Christians on YouTube are not fucking illiterate because obviously they can read goddamn scripture. So I know that they shouldn't have a problem cracking a fucking dictionary open, looking up the word atheist, and, and understanding the goddamn definition of the word. So I know that it's not a literacy problem. I, I know that's not the fucking issue here. So then I thought, well, what could be the motivation for using the words God-hater when referring to an atheist. My second thought was, well, maybe they just do it to get a rise out of guys like me, you know, maybe they're just trying to fuck with atheists, you know, call them a God-hater, you know, they hate it when we say that, that'll fucking piss them off, that'll get them all riled up, maybe they'll go to church. And I, I dismissed that when I came to this conclusion. I think what's really going on here is that these people need the fucking, they, they need their fantasy so bad that they have to include people who aren't even fucking interested in being included in their fantasy land. I'm one of those people, okay? I'm going to try to explain this to you as best I can, and I know you're not a fucking idiot, so, so this shouldn't be too hard for you to grasp. I don't hate something that I don't believe is real. Why can't you understand that? I know you can understand it, you might not want to, uh, I mean, and, and we know the attitude, right? There's no such thing as an atheist. You have these dumbasses that, that go along saying shit like, you know, everybody knows there's a God. It's stamped on the hearts of men. There's a fucking God. Yada, yada. I got a video response from some douchebag. I can't remember his fucking name, but that was the whole premise of his video. So I didn't accept the fucking response. I wasn't going to bother responding to it. Fuck that. That shit is retarded. Cut it the fuck out. I don't want to be included in your fantasy. Why can't you understand that? That's what I think your God is. It, it, it's your imaginary friend. Why do you have to include me in, in your fantasy? I know that you need this shit. I know that without the religion, without the God, without the, the faith and the prayers, that you couldn't make it through a fucking day of your life. You'd go absolutely fucking ape shit. You'd, you'd go nuts. And I appreciate that. And I'm glad you found something that makes you fucking happy. Alright? But can't you just acknowledge that I don't think your God is real? Can't you just acknowledge that that's what an atheist is? Why can't you acknowledge that? Why must you include me in your bullshit? Can't you just delude yourself without me? That's all I ask. So cut it out with the, the fucking God-hater shit and the no such thing as an atheist crap. Everybody knows there's a God. You, you just hate God. Shut the fuck up. How can you be an educated person and, and think this way? How? So, I left a comment on the video that I posted over here asking that question. And here's the report. Here's the reply that I got from Pastor George. Now, reading that comment, you know, if you have an understanding of the English language, and uh, just to point out, I think it's funny how you can't even type the word God. I guess you consider that blasphemous. I don't know. I've never seen anyone else do that at all, not only on YouTube, but anywhere else, you can't write the word God. 
See, it, it's corny shit like that that I, that I like to mock. Pastor George, George it, it's not your God. It's your religion. It's your corny-ass little fucking pastor cap. And it's the way that you guys wear the funny little outfits. And, you know, it's the way that, you know, Scientologists do personality tests. And everything about religious behavior is funny to me because it's also fucking stupid. So that's what I mock. But I don't mock your God. Okay? I don't believe your God's real. I don't hate God. Certainly not. Don't think God's real. So crack open that fucking dictionary and look up the goddamn word atheist and with that educated fucking brain of yours, draw the proper goddamn conclusion. I mean, could you? Please? Maybe? I know you're not fucking stupid. But I will say, uh, George, I, I hate your fucking religion. I really do. You want to end up like yoke up. I mean, that, that's what you, you end up with yoke ups with religion. You end up with homosexuals that are terrified of being who they are. I, I, I mean, what fucking good does any of it do? Yeah, yeah, so, I, I mean, it's silly shit, Pastor George. I can't find a good reason not to make fun of you people. I really can't. You fucking amuse me, and not just Christians or whatever the fuck it is you consider yourself, whatever denomination, um, whatever absolutely correct religion. I'm sure you're right. I'm sure you've got it right, by the way. Um, but yeah, I don't see any reason not to laugh at you. All right, I, I, I can't find a good enough reason not, you know, not to laugh. It's fucking silly, George. Ugh. Anyway, that should do it. Just crack open that fucking dictionary and, and get the definition of the word atheist. All right, just imprinted on that fucking brain of yours. All right, peace.